Oh, sorry. Actually, I was uh, reading something else. Okay, let me just try my luck. Oh, yeah, it's still not working. If I go back to where I copied this code, it should be in here. Sorry, too many tabs. Here. Should be as simple as this. I just need to run this, but I don't know why I couldn't. So sorry guys if maybe for this video I will just stare at the screen because I d really don't have idea on what uh, should be the fix. Okay, what is this? I hope it will work because it's a blocker. I will stop it. run again I will check the logs I should be uh, seeing here something like four five yeah this one four five seven two but I don't know why it's not appearing oh thank you Bronson for sharing the number one share in the Philippines shout out to you bossing Going back, uh, please work. Ah, oh, still not working. I just hope that I don't need to restart my computer. I forgot how I um, make this to work. Running on blah 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 blah. What if I try to run this again? But it should not be the case. Okay, sorry, I forgot to start my timer. No idea why this is not working. I'm not sure if this is relate. I'm um, uh, my hunch is that the the creator of the library. Um, uh, how do I say this? 
uh, doesn't uh, anymore uh, provide the service for S3 uh, by default. Just a wild guess because if I if I go to the sorry sorry wait if I go here if I go here and try to try to open. Four five seven two. If I'm not mistaken, okay. Should not. Four five seven two. Yeah, it's not found. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh wait. Please work. Ah, oh, it's still not working. I have no idea. Hello, Arvin J. Thank you for sharing. Okay, this will be a staring contest between me and you. Okay. Hello Juventude, thank you for liking the page. Oh, Arame, thank you for the spam share. Okay. I will test something. I will restart my Docker instance and hope that it will work. So I'm restarting. Should not see something here, which is uh okay, which is great. I'm waiting uh for it to be restarted. Now in my in my other uh, screen in my other screen I see uh, I'm seeing this Docker is running. If I hit this again, I think it will not uh, yet work. But let me restart. Uh, for uh, first stop it oh, my head is aching with this problem start again The problem is I deleted uh, some files here. I am not sure if this is related to that. But should not be the case. I'm not seeing here on... Uh, oh, oh. Should it be 4566? Hmm. Wait, 4566. Hello, our Amando Vasquez. Shout out to you, bro. Okay, let me try. If this is not 4572, maybe this is 4566. Yes! Okay, so the problem here was. I think the developer of this changed the port or I just did not, did not read the documentation enough. I just hope hope that I can still uh, make this work on my local. 
So what I need to do next is to run this ACL. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry for scrolling a lot. As you can see here, it's uh, looking for 4572, but I don't know who the heck updated the URL. Four five six six. No message, so I'll just assume that it worked magically. I can close this and I can continue with my coding. Hey, Moon Kiam. I I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but thank you for following. I will uh, search globally for instance of this four five seven two. And replace this by four five six six. I'm hoping that that it will work again, please. Hello, oh Edward Montoya. Shout out to you, bro. Welcome to the stream. Oh, thank you for following. Now it's getting this message. I'll go to the application and try to look to add something. If this works, then great. Yep. So the issue was uh, the port, uh, the the erroneous uh port number I'm not so sure who the heck uh, updated that it costed me um, I think uh, 30 minutes because I was trying to fix it uh, before I go live but I just I give up so I think that I should just uh, made a live make a live video of me deep trying to debug the problem anyway Going back to the to my to my um, features, I can move this to done. What I did, what I was doing yesterday, is that I'm okay. Sorry for the mess. I will clean this. Okay, here. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what I based on this context what I'm doing is I'm trying to create hello Joe Marie thank you for following shout out to you okay what I was doing again is that just in case there is a uh, there is a 404 um, case for example this one if I hit an admin123 which is not an existing um, URL it will have something like this 404 page not found but what I'm trying to do now is if I go to admin and if I try to hit an invalid URL hey 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 it's not actually working so what I want is something like uh, with this header so different from the this is the home uh, the publicly av available uh, view and for the admin as you can see we have a different header and no footer and what I want is in this sub uh, URL we will uh, have our own uh, for offer message to do that actually uh, forgot what I was doing I think I think it should be configured in the admin routing module. Oh, I guess uh, the case is because we don't have the. I mean, we change. We handle the this thing, this, which is the 
like a wild card catch. Oh, my bad. It will point to a component of what was that again? Not found. Should be content not found component. If I go to okay, I'm waiting for it to recompile. Which uh, which all it already did, I think. I will close this for now. If I go here, oh okay, that was, that that was easy. Now if I go to this proper URL, we can have the view that I'm expecting. Yep. Okay, just one more for my sanity. It's working. Yep, it's working. Now I can... Let me just try if I enter it here manually. Okay, still working. Be because previously when I tried to um, uh, hard type here, is if that's a word, uh, if I hard type here the an invalid URL, it's going in in this uh, view what I need to uh, update here is um, it's uh, I'm having a bad behavior here where I if I go to admin I always have this for all for page not found yeah not found because I don't have an, a handler for that so for that to work I think I just need to to add here an empty path where what I want for the default is the meme since I have content for this it's just a wild guess based on okay wait admin rush okay okay so it should be pointing to memes Now uh, again, our admin is working fine. Oh, great! It's a good thing that I saw a log message regarding this because it might cost me more than one hour if if I did not see that. Let me commit this first. Uh, change a port of local stack. S3 locals S3 Ouch I hit my knee <laughs> While waiting I'll check the feature list I think this is done already I just need to commit them the changes so what I need to do is uh, choose from the features by the way uh, to to whoever is watching this if you want something to be built on this um, portfolio or personal website just uh, leave a comment and maybe add a game I don't know but I, I'm not a game developer, so it might take a lot of time. Okay, sorry for the long talk. What should I do now? Fix certifications UI. What is this? Oh, I think this is related to if I go back to... Okay, wait. Okay, if I go here in the resume, I can see that there is a certification. But the problem here is, it's let's just say it's ugly because 
uh, for one reason, the, the I don't know, it's not properly formatted. And of course, the, the size. Okay, okay. Before that, let me commit this first. Let me commit. I'm so redundant. Um, added 404 page for admin route. I will do this so I can I can drag this to done and I will move this to here. Or should I finish first the login? I don't know. Maybe I can put them both in progress. Okay, this I will fix this. Fix this because it's it's a client facing app. I don't know who I don't know who my client is, but I think this is. Uh, I mean, what I mean by that is it is uh, publicly available. I'm not so sure on how to lay out this because from my previous um, portfolio website I have here these are the styles for the certifications but you know, it's quite old and I don't really I don't like this view anymore so what I'm doing now is something like this if I hover then it um, it will show the description and the link okay 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 I'll try to make this bigger oh one thing uh, to add here is that I should make it a uh, responsive what I mean by that is for different sizes um, should not look like uh, the same even though it's uh, adjusting to to the container size but the the text is not adjusting so and also by if it if this is a uh, on a larger view I should uh, make this a uh, uh, two per row I will go to the appropriate files to edit it should be here in the resume and add oh wait it's sorry it's not on the admin part but but on the resume and certification this con this uh contains uh the the certification but okay okay what i need here is uh wait i'm trying to find out what is the con container which contains okay this one contains the certifications what i need to do here is um what i okay the first thing that i should do if uh for large uh large view we should have here two uh, contents okay but before that uh, I should add more details in the back end I mean in the database in here user X user certification I can clone both of this without keys oh do what happened duplicate entry the name would be I don't know what certification, maybe Angular. Duplicate this again. And this will be React. And for the other one, okay, duplicate again. This will be View. That would be enough. So. If I refresh this, 
I'm expecting to see five. Yep, correct. What I need to do now is if this okay sorry just to make it an even number but it's all okay I'm, I'm missing here number three javascript as i was saying earlier there should be uh two side by uh, side by side whenever i'm in a large view let us begin with that. This, I think this should be, there should be another um, wrapper here. So div class certifications. Or maybe not. Hmm. Because my goal here is, if this is we're, if we're if we're on a bigger screen, then I will use uh, oh, how this how should it? If we're on a bigger screen, I will use a media query. I will. I think I'll just copy on the other uh, other files here. There sh should be in the photo photo detail and this is the one that I'm going to copy should be in here and this should be certification Instead of uh, this padding, I will um, check for background color. I will, I mean, I will uh, update the background color first to check the to check if the media, the proper media query is applied. What the heck? Blue, green yellow and the default would be uh, red what I'm wondering why it's not applying Certification. Wait. Certification is the. Let me try with uh, the wrapper class. Sorry, with the detail class. That detail. still not working I'm thinking there is an explicit white here nope there's none so the question is why it doesn't have a background color I'm expecting this to have some background oh I think I'm seeing it now it's red and now it's yellow yellow but the problem is this details this details is yep covering our yep that's the case so what I need to do now is instead of of that instead of details I make I make it details now I 
if I try to adjust, we're getting a different color. Okay, so for green case, I still want it to be side by side. So what I need to do here is, uh, I think this is, this, I think this should be applied to certification. It should be different. Oops, sorry. I hit the mic. Width will be 50%. I'm not so sure if it will magically do the trick. Nope. Certification width is 50%. Did, did it even apply? I'll make this a bit smaller. Yep, I think this is applying, but the case is it's not uh, performing the flex wrap. So what I can do is have this separately and for the wrapper which is this one I will add here flex wrap wrap oh that's a bad behavior because now we're uh, seeing something like this I'm hoping that it's just in the certification. Okay, wait. Certification pos position is should be relative. Oh, it's not working. Too bad. But anyway, it's sh I'm expecting it to be wrapped. hard uh, to debug in this uh, view I'll return to this and check oh okay so this is 30% but this is 100% what if I added host um, back color blue yep okay to avoid scrolling uh, every time, I will uh, disable this for now, these uh, things. Okay. And what I can do here is... Hmm. Hello Israel, thank you for liking the stream. Thank, shout out to you, bossing. I'm not so sure about uh, if I can uh, apply in the host um, a media query. Let me try. Oh. oh great so I just learned something new today I think uh, yeah I I think this uh, should work uh, I just uh, this this is just my first time using this yep good thing to know something today 
Now what I can do here is just in case um, our our uh, we have a very big uh, device I will make the width 30% for now and for this certification I don't mind the size of it so by default it should be 100 but I can be explicit about it about that and this should be 30 as well now the thing that I need to do here is for the certifications wrapper uh, I should do it here as well in the small device in the container I should add here flex wrap 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 oh not working why is it not working this already display flex yep it's display flex flex direction it's already column how can I make this I'm positive that if I'm using a simple div um, okay let me try using grid layout here I almost forgot how to use grid layout, but let me try it now. Grid CSS layout. Okay, okay. Grid gap. Oh, this is not the one. I remember I, I posted something in Learn Every Day. Uh, uh, hashtag. I posted something about the grid. Uh, this is the bad thing about uh, not doing, not coding the. The the concept, I al I always forgot. Anyway, for this, let me try using grid. Certifications. I'm trying here. Display grid. And what would be the result? Actually, not happened but I'm getting here this um, I think we have a grid oh it, just a trivia in Firefox they have a great support support for grid layout I'm not so sure about Chrome because as I said I'm not using grid layout I mean I should but I don't know what, what I'm not using because maybe I'm so comfortable with using flex. Anyway, let me try to make this work. What I want here is again for these two to uh, appear together. Okay, I'm hoping that I, I could find the, the grid CSS tutorial. Grid. Oh, there's no grid, so grid CSS. Or this one. Oh, I think this is the one. Mm, 
but how do I okay this uh make repeat let me try it with this oh, okay now it's working <laughs> but as you can see it's awful because what I really need is for the certification to stay on the on the top so I'm wondering how can I I mean by just using grid layout and not a mess uh, oh I just realized this I have here another another uh, div I think I can put it here oh, okay but my goal is not to use another certification because I want to learn more about grid by coding Google grid layout uh, 100 width of first layout one child uh, span 100% Oh, okay. So we have this convenience uh, this thing okay that's great but to do that I need to add a title class uh, certifications title I should make this uh, use BM as well wrapper wrapper okay here Converting this to a BM convention. Now for the what was that again? It was title. And in here we're looking for the first child which should be an h1 not sure if this is going to work not working then me I think I'm doing something bad here is it title yep it's title certifications title certifications title and for the title Really, okay, I don't really need the first child. Yep, now it's working properly. But I need this to span uh, on a hundred uh, hundred percent. I think we just already doing with hundred percent. Oh, it's not working.
I just realized, okay, because I put here 100%. What I can do to make uh, it uh, responsive is, of course, to copy paste this. Now it's looking, I don't know if good. Hello, Jason Paxson. Shout out to you. Thank you for liking the page. Okay. What I need to do here is to remove this 30% because it's not the way uh, to do it. And also, I should remove here the the implementation of the responsiveness. It should be in the con the grid. It should be in here. It should be here. What I can do here is to sorry here. Copying this one. Yep, this is the. I'm. Um, I'm actually just guessing now. Yep, I think this is the way uh, to do it. The responsiveness. You should be the container now of the certification because of the grid view. But just in case we're using uh, display flex, you should be on the child. What I mean by that is, you will see later. If I'm, you will see later if I don't forget uh, what to do. So now you can see that it will still respond to color, but just in case we have a background color of red, then. we will make it um, only one repeat one and uh, and in here okay i think it will not matter for now we'll, let's just see if, if it still work hmm. okay i think i should also add here uh a major query too bad I thought it's, it was it's, it would be going to be simple so the default will be one we'll copy here one and for the other you for the other uh, devices I will make it to here and then three for the large maybe three here as well and two for for medium let's check it now as you can see it's um, flowing uh, to, to uh, from top to bottom with only one column per row but if I try to increase it we're getting here too but with an ugly um, structure what I, what we can do for that is to of course in the wrapper should make this two as well and for the green maybe two as well yep maybe two as well and for the largest device we'll make this three let's check the result if I make this bigger, 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 bigger until it goes to the biggest yep we have a I don't know if we can call it nice but it's much better maybe maybe not a uh, two maybe just three I oh, sorry maybe not three should be only two yep and what I can do here is to reduce the padding I'm 
going to remove this uh, things because we just verify that our media query is working while waiting it to save oh what happened here it's overflowing why why is it overflowing okay never mind that wait why do I have this I don't know why I have this title oh we just uh made our um, title um, responsive as well this is for the green case <sighs> what can we do here to make this uh, better I'm not sure why this is overflowing is it something about the oh okay so we're getting here if the mar hmm. let me quickly remove this okay so that might be the culprit I can remove this and remove this display but the problem here is that we have this uh, ugly looking thing because of the margin hmm Instead of margin, I th I'm guessing that we can just use here gutter if I'm not mistaken. There is a gutter um, feature, I mean property, but I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure. Gutter. Do we have a gutter here? Nope. CSS screen gutter. Okay, I'm looking for the inside. Gutter. Oh, it's called column gap and row gap. I see. Column. I'm looking for that row gap. Row gap. It should be um, one rem. Just an estimate. Okay, that's great. And for the column gap, or one rem as well. Oh, looking great. I should remove the border here in certifi certification title where is the title there should be no border right 
and if I try again to make it smaller I'm expecting it yep still correct what I need here is to um, add a padding because it's ugly of course in certification how do I add uh, okay maybe not I'm trying to I'm guessing if we have an outside uh, gutter here outside do we have an outside outside Oh, this one. This is ABC box one. Where is box one? Box one. Oh, there's no property. I thought there's a property for that. ABC. ABC. Grid column start. Trying to find out if there's a convenience property in grid to add uh, like a padding but outside. So I'm positive that we can use margin, but okay, but I have some thoughts about it. Margin to rem. I'm expecting it to uh, move to not uh, be to it's not oh okay so <laughs> my th what I understood is wrong and that's good I should have just uh, tried it yeah I think this is responsive enough but st still we're having we're having a problem with the what's the problem again okay the bad uh ui should not look like this it's ugly for the details and for but before that i should make it detail not details or details yep How do I make this uh, looks better? Oh, yeah, I think this uh, the UI here is a lot better with this uh, sharp green color and this grayish uh, grayish background. So for the background color by default it would be this one let's do our copy paste magic oh okay we only have uh, four minutes I can still do some changes here it's gonna be color light and the color would be dark color dark let's try how it will look yep it looks I don't know it looks something and for I'm expecting here that there is a shadow but I couldn't see the shadow 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 Shadow. Okay. 
I'm wondering how to pause this again. Okay, how do I pause the oh. pause? Nope, not that pause. There's something. Uh, I think I can uh, pause this. Pause. Um, Google Developer. Google Chrome um, template. Dev tools. I forgot what is that was the the key. This is not the what I'm looking for. Template dev tools. this control shift C is that it it's not the one I'm looking for but if I'm not mistaken I can still um, set the state of it How do I uh, here I need to choose this and hover oh okay now we have that hover what I can do here is the same hover now we can check for the properties by the way uh, I did not use any the pause that I was uh, trying to search it is the background is green this is for this one color primary but it's a bit darker dark Am I already using it? I think I am. So, guys, that's the sound of uh, me finishing this countdown. But before I left, I will commit this. And oh, maybe I'll do, I'll commit it tomorrow, so I will not forget what I did. So thank you guys for watching this is uh, day 16 of my 100 days of coding and I will see you guys for day 17 thank you bye bye say bye bye good night good night bye. <laughs>